guys and welcome back to CoverGirl's channel. My name is Safai and today I am very excited to share with you guys my tips and tricks on how to achieve the perfect cut crease using CoverGirl's full spectrum collection. So as you can tell my foundation and eyebrows are done. My lids are primed using CoverGirl's full spectrum concealer and some translucent setting powder. So today I'm going to share some of my tips and tricks on how to achieve the perfect cut crease and the first thing I like to do is put down a transition shade for the ultimate blend. The first shade I'll be taking is a gorgeous brown shade from the Reverence palette. This shade is going to work as our transition for this look today. I'm going to go ahead and use a nice fluffy blending brush and place the shade right in my crease. This first shade is going to help us map out the shape of our cut crease today. We are also going to go ahead and apply this beautiful brown shade on the lower lash line to really make this look cohesive. The next shade I will be taking is a slightly deeper brown from the Reference palette. With a smaller blending brush, I'm going to keep this deeper brown shade more concentrated in my crease region, making sure to also extend this shade out. Staying in the same shade, I'm also going to apply this on the lower lash line. I will be taking the deepest brown shade from the Reverence palette. This deep brown shade is to add depth to the crease and I'm also going to keep this much more concentrated than my first two shades. To line my lower lash line, I will be taking the Defining Moment Liner from the Full Spectrum Collection in the shade Blackest Black. To smoke things out to perfection, I will be using the Deepest Brown shade from the Reverence Palette and a pencil brush. It's time to go and cut this crease. To do so, I will be taking the Full Spectrum Concealer in the shade FS165. I like to use a shade that is typically 4 to 5 shades lighter so that the colors can really pop. Using a small detailed brush with my concealer, I'm going to cut my crease above my natural crease. I like to do this portion in steps to ensure that my cut crease is perfect. Once I've already carved out the shape of my cut crease, I like to go ahead and fill in the rest of the space with concealer. Now that I have everything filled, I'm going to go ahead and tap off the excess product. I'm going to take this deep plum shade from the Zodiac palette. Taking that deep plum shade with a small lid brush, I will be packing the shade in the lower inner corner and outer corners of my eyes. The next shade I'll be taking is a light burgundy shade from the Zodiac Full Spectrum palette. I'm going to place that light burgundy shade right above that deep plum shade on both the inner and outer corners of my eyes. I will be using this champagne shade from the Posh Chic Full Spectrum palette. Using a smaller brush, I'm going to place the shade at the top and center of my eye. This will also give us some halo cut crease action. Last but not least, I will be taking the champagne shade in my inner corner to highlight. I'm taking the Defining Moments eyeliner in the shade Black is Black to go ahead and line my top lid. Okay you guys, we have one eye done. I'm going to prep my lashes using the Exhibitionist Mascara. Then I'm going to apply my lashes and do my other eye off camera and I will be right back so we can finish up the rest of this look. Alright you guys, now that both eyes are done, now it's definitely time to go ahead and finish up the rest of this face to complement our cut crease. To add some color back into the face, I will be using a blush. Now this blush is from the Full Spectrum Sculpt Experts palette and this is the Rose palette. I'm going to lightly place this blush on the apples of my cheeks. I really like that this blush has a glowy finish. It really does help with a healthy looking inner glow. To go ahead and highlight, I will be staying in the same palette and I'm going to be taking this middle golden shade that we have here. I'm going to apply the shade on the highest point of my cheekbones for the maximum glow. I am really loving how easy it is to blend this shade out and it works really well with the blush that we just applied. 
This look would definitely not be complete without lips, so that is what I'll be doing next. I'm taking the Liquid Matte Lipstick from the Full Spectrum Collection in the shade Fortune. Okay guys, so the look is complete. This is how you achieve the perfect cut crease. I absolutely love how easy it was to work with today's products. This look is completely customizable. Whether you'd like more color or keep this more warm toned, you just swap out the colors accordingly. Now you guys are ready to slay any cut crease. I had a lot of fun sharing my tips and tricks with you guys today. Leave some comments down below on how you achieve your perfect cut crease. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.